remember like it was clear this day. I was sitting down in my bedroom in my parents' house four years ago, getting ready to buy my first ever online course. Spending two and a half grand that I was going to spend on my college tuition to do a master's degree or something like that. And I took it and I put it into this online course. And I was thinking within a couple of weeks, I'm going to be traveling the world. I'm going to be making money online, making 10 grand a month, and I'm going to be living the laptop lifestyle. A couple of weeks passed, nothing, nothing at all. And even after eight months, eventually I was able to see some progress and I was able to make some moves to create the life I wanted. But there was five key lessons that I had to learn in the very early stages to really be able to get to where I want to be. So if you're starting an agency, if you're starting high ticket sales, or really trying to create a life where you're kind of in unfamiliar territory, right? You're starting a business, you're getting into sales, and you maybe you haven't done something like this before. You're trying to live that lifestyle. This video is going to be for you because you're going to want to avoid these pitfalls and really put yourself in the right mindset to see success because these are some of the key things that I had to learn along my journey I'm going to share with you here, okay? So the first thing is the wrong expectations wrong expectations with anything in life are just going to put you down no matter what so when i was getting into this game and when i was trying to make things happen for myself my expectations was quick wins instant gratification and everything that came along with that and this was usually down to the marketing that is out there as well unfortunately we live in a world today where marketing out there really sways the way we think about things and thinks that things are much easier when really a lot of the time it's just the way it's marketed because it's attractive to get stuff in 30 days 60 days and 90 days when in reality for the majority of people it takes far longer than that because you really have to do a lot of work within yourself to really start to create anything in your life because if you think about it for a second the way you are right now in your current self is not actually capable of getting what you want otherwise you would already have those things now, that's not to say that it's impossible for you, but it's just having the realization that the person that you currently are is not actually capable of getting those things. And you need to be able to master yourself in such a way where you are actually internally progressing the same way that you are progressing in terms of your skill set. And when you do both of those things, you start to optimize your performance, you start to improve, and you start to bring those things into your life and create more opportunities for yourself. This is one of the lessons that was a key factor in me being able to create the life that I want. So number four is thinking that the only thing that you need is strategy. In those beginning stages, I used to chase every single course or program that was going to give me a new marketing strategy. Probably spent around 15 grand in total. Now, this was a big mistake because after my fourth course on how to start an agency, I realized I knew how to start an agency. And I knew all the sales stuff. And I had all of the information. The problem was I was chasing all of these answers that I already had in new courses and new programs because I thought they were going to take me to where I wanted to be when in reality, I had all the tools in my tool belt. I had all the tools. I just needed the mindset. I needed to become the person to really be able to make those strategies work because at the end of the day, strategies are cheap, right? They change all the time. You can find them for free on YouTube. And I realized that the things that were going to take me to where I want to be was not chasing a new strategy. It was not chasing a new tactic. It was really doing the work within myself clearing the things that I needed to clear, right? In terms of my mindset, freeing my mind, clearing my energy, becoming more aligned with the person I wanted to become and really stepping into that and doing the work required to really improve myself. That's where the transformation really came because I would actually take action on the strategies and the tactics that I already had. But we're going to get more into that later in this video. Number three is a big one. I have never been held to a high standard. Now, this one is really key and I think it's common for a lot of guys out there where they've never really been held to a high standard. I know this was definitely the case for me. I grew up in a normal place, average family. We struggled for money most of the time, and I didn't really have many male authority figures around me that could really lead me to where I wanted to be. So I had to figure out a lot of these things by myself. And I had never been held to a high standard. And when you're not held to a high standard, your standards for yourself are very low and they're very basic. And overall, they're pretty much just average. When you hold yourself to an average level, it's very difficult to get anything greater than that. And it's very difficult to do the hard things that are required to actually get to where you want to be. On top of this as well, I felt when I was joining these courses and I was joining these programs, that in reality, I felt like a number inside of these programs where I wasn't really being held accountable. I didn't really feel like I was being held to a higher standard. So I would just get in, I would consume the content, I would take a little bit of action, but then I would just fall off track and I would procrastinate and I would go through all of these different things and end up just buying another course or program where I would also just repeat the same process. And it was only when I started to invest in coaches and really upgrade my network overall was when I started to hold myself to a higher standard. And this is really where I started to level up 
much faster than I was before. And when I was really trying to do everything myself. So that's a big one for number three. You want to make sure you're holding yourself to high standard or else you're working with somebody who's going to hold you to that standard. It's also why I work with clients one-to-one on these things because it allows me to personalize the experience to exactly where they currently are. So we're getting close to number one. Number two is they cannot control their emotions. So our emotions specifically as men are going to dictate how we really navigate the world and how we actually respond to the things that happen to us. So one of the big things for me in the beginning was I wasn't able to control my emotions. Now something when something bad would happen or I would feel a certain way and I would just get thrown off track. Maybe I would sit down and I would consume a video and then I would, it, would sh- it would shift my state and I would feel that fear or I would feel guilt or I would feel doubt and I would start to feel all these negative emotions which are on the lower scale of emotions which we'll get into in other videos. A lot of the time when I was stuck in this low emotion state I was never able to create anything. I was never able to feel inspired or motivated to actually do the work required. And this was a massive problem because the more I got stuck in this low emotional state, the more I would procrastinate, the more I would do things that didn't serve me, to uh, continue to do bad habits. And it was like this low emotional state that I would keep myself in and I would just go into this vicious cycle that would go on for days and I wouldn't get any work done. And I would feel, then I would feel bad and I would feel guilty for not doing the things I knew I was supposed to be doing. And the cycle would repeat and it was vicious. I was actually throughout this process, I would go out and I would search for these different ways and different tools that I could use to start to manage my emotions. And a big thing that really worked very well for me that you can go ahead and try is just to understand that every emotion that you feel is there to be felt for a reason. And it's a signal for you to do something. And one of the big things for me, if you follow me for a little bit, you'll hear me talk about meditation. Meditation is a time not just for visualization and not just for, you know, having that calmness of mind, which is also very important, but it's a time to process emotions. Specifically as men, in this world, we're told that emotions are negative, something that we need to put to the side, something we need to shove away. And we're told that if we show emotions, it's a negative thing and it's not masculine to do that. When in reality, the worst thing that you can do as a man is suppress your emotions because it will just come up in other ways, usually in some sort of insecurity, in some sort of self-sabotage. So you want to be able to master your emotions by just allowing yourself to process them. So this could this could be easily just sitting down, doing a meditation for five to 10 minutes and allowing yourself to feel the emotions you feel. So if you feel fear, you feel self-doubt, feel that. Allow yourself to actually be there with the emotions. It's one of the things that served me greatly because it allowed me to transmute that emotion into something more powerful as I became better at meditation. This is something I do with my clients as well because our emotional state, our energy is so much more important than we give it credit for. And when we stay in these lower level emotions, it stops us from really being able to create the life that we want and create and take action towards the things that we're trying to accomplish. And number one is stuck in addictions. So this feeds in from number two. I found that when I was stuck in these lower level emotions, it's much easier for me to want to smoke weed or to go out drinking alcohol or to watch pornography or something along those lines that I knew was going to disrupt the progress that I was making on my own self-improvement journey and throw me off track from my pursuit of self-mastery. And this just came from being in these lower level emotions and just not being able to really control my mind, which stopped me from taking the actions that I needed to take. These addictions can be really powerful things because they take away our power from ourselves and we give it away to this thing, which means that we have less energy to actually create the life that we want, the business that we want, or just the income that we want overall. This was one of the biggest things that I struggled with in the beginning and something to definitely watch out for. This could be something as simple as scrolling too much on social media to watching pornography, to, to smoking weed multiple times a day or multiple times a week. These habits are going to stop you from really being your most powerful self. And in this life, if you're going to be striving towards building a business or getting into sales or getting into something where you're going to be able to create more freedom, more income, and inevitably just a better life for yourself, then you're going to want to be able to manage your emotions so that you can stop these addictions, remove the vices, take back your power so that you can channel that energy into something great. But still, over time, as you become this new version of yourself and you see yourself as someone who does not do those sorts of things, you kind of shift your identity around those things. And when you disassociate from being the type of person who does this thing, then that's when you can really start to make the shift. But sometimes that can take a little bit longer than expected, but just know, if you are on this journey and you're making the commitment to self-mastery, managing your emotions, removing these vices and becoming the best man that you could possibly be, even just having that intention is enough to really put yourself in a place of power. And that's really just where you want to be. So don't start beating yourself up if you're not fully there yet. You will get there. But just have the intention that you are going to pursue this long term. This is who you are becoming. This is the man that you're stepping into and be proud of the fact that you decided to make a change in your life. 
Um, when it comes to self mastery in terms of addiction specifically, I usually break this up into three different phases. And this is how you can really understand where you're at and how to really navigate addictions to remove them. Now, if you want to learn more about these three phases, go ahead and watch this video right here. I'll see you there.